What's going on guys? It's Monday. Uh, I'm back in my office. We had a crazy, crazy weekend. A uh, crazy week actually. I've done six weddings in the last 10 days, I think. So Friday I had a wedding in Auckland and Riverhead. Saturday I flew to New Plymouth for a wedding. Sunday I flew back to Auckland for another wedding. Then on Monday I flew down to Queenstown for elopement on Tuesday. Flew back to Auckland that night. And then Friday and Saturday, this weekend just gone, I had another two weddings up here in Auckland. Crazy rain and all sorts of uh, hectic chaos, but it was fun. So before I went to Queenstown, I went to Auckland Camera and I brought this G7X Mark II so I could film some stuff down there, uh, you know, at the weddings and all that that I had in a row. But the focus on this thing is so frustrating that I just couldn't deal with it. I put it away and I just concentrated on what I was doing. I did get a little bit of footage, so I'll, I'll post Matt probably a sort of life video later on with all that in there. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a vlogging camera, this thing, the autofocus is horrible. The RX100 Mark V autofocus is way, way better, but the RX100 is 1800 bucks or something. This is 600, so. It's really the only thing I can complain about. Like it has touch screen and it's got the, uh, you know, flippy screen so you can see yourself. The video quality seems nice. The colors are fine. Just the autofocus is so frustrating when you're coming from a Sony camera. It just was really, really annoying. So uh, I don't know what I'll do with that. I'm sure I'll use it, uh, but you know, Anyway, let's jump into my bag. So this is all the stuff that I brought with me on the, you know, on the plane flights and things like that for doing photo and highlight films. Let me just turn the mic around here. So this is the bag. It, it is a uh, low pro uh, flip side Trek 450. And we'll just jump straight into the back. So obviously the camera I'm filming on is not in here, which is a, a, a Sony a7R 3 with the Batiste 18mm 2.8 Zeiss lens and I have my Rode VideoMic Pro on the top uh, but other than that this is all the stuff that I take with me to shoot a wedding uh, and do photo and video at the same time so the camera I'm holding usually sits in here fits in there fine with the little finger grip so this is an a7r3 also uh, this one i have the battery grip on mostly because i like the way it feels i have really large hands and i have the batiste the zeiss batiste 25 mm f2 so i use that mostly for like if i'm in a tight space and there's not much room around and i don't want to use my 35 i'll use my 25 uh, so you know for me 25 and 55 is a really popular combo otherwise I go 35 85 but either way I usually pick one and just stick with that through the day so yeah battery grip takes two batteries that has a little clip on there for my double strap and the peak design little clip there for um, like the safety harness thing so I want to give you guys the reasons for what I use each lens for as well so you sort of get an understanding with that so as I was saying this is the 55 tiny little lens the Sony 55 1.8 I've already done a video on that you can check that out on my channel 55 and 25 are my is one go-to combo one on each body works really really well the 55 is crazy it's so sharp and just you know really really fast and the colors are really nice go watch the video anyway so next one I have the this is the Sony G Master 85mm 1.4 epic lens really enjoy it i use this mostly for the ceremony i did try out the g master 70 to 200 at a wedding on waiheke on the weekend is gone and that was really awesome but i do still like my primes and this uh for an, for an 85 this is just for any lens actually this is epic uh, i'll do a review on that as well so second combo would be 85 and then 35 so this is my uh, go to 35 I could shoot most of a wedding on this and have done pretty much all of weddings you know I don't even for the portraits I really like this because I lean towards more towards that environmental kind of stuff so that would be my second combo 35 and 85 so those two all day no worries or those two if you want to go a little bit more environmental a little bit wider epic combo that's the only lenses I take other than the Batiste 18mm which I use mostly for dance floor shots and group shots and um, like a few establishing shots if we're in like a really cool place 
and here I have a this is a Godox TT685 speed light it's high speed sync it's TTL it's really powerful it takes four it takes four double A's which I use the Inlook Pro back black batteries that charge those anyway so yeah I use these Inlook Pro batteries they're really awesome they last for ages the recycle times are really fast highly recommend those and then I use this uh, Godox X1T trigger Sony obviously Sony uh, mount so this controls the uh, speed light for off-camera flash and it can use my big 8600 lights when I when I use those in the studio or at a wedding so usually I take two speed lights but because I was traveling and flying and I was on a ferry and stuff I just took one and then in here I just have like spare batteries tripod plate a couple of spare AAs as well so yeah the important thing here two combos so 25 55 depending on how much space I have to work with or 35 and 85 if I have you know if I want to go a little bit more classic and have uh, you know I have lots of room to play around with and then in the top here so this is a uh, zoom h5 sorry h4n pro recorder which has XLR and quarter inch and 3.5 mil and all that. I can plug this directly into the to the uh, venue system and record the vowels through their audio, uh, which is handy. Or I also have this Rode Link wireless lapel. So it just comes like this. It has this lapel that you can put on the groom, and that usually picks up both both parties and that's the other end that goes on the camera I can also plug this end into the road link uh, sorry into the zoom recorder if I don't want to record the audio through the camera so I'll just plug the road link into the zoom recorder and the lapel on the groom or the celebrant and record it all that way so that's audio easy easy solution for audio you can do a lot better than that but that gives you a really high quality audio recording and you can sync it later on and post uh, or just overlay it. These are my sunnies. These are prescription sunnies, so gotta have sunnies. Now this is my Phoenix LED torch. It's waterproof and tough and whatever. I really like that. It's cool for like effects and video and finding your way. Obviously, don't need to explain that much. Some smellies because no one likes a smelly photographer. This is Velcro strip. This stuff's really handy. So it's just like literally just a big strip of Velcro. So I use this to strap my speed light under one of the umbrellas so I could get some cool photos with that. You know, at night with the rain, that was really fun. Gum. Again, no one likes smellies. Smelly people, smelly breath. Smelly bodies, smelly breath. Sort it out. This is a blower. I use this just obviously for cleaning the sensor. The Sony's a little bit, they can get dust easier than the DSLRs. Good thing is you can see it when you take the lens off, so I just give it a quick, quick little blow and it's fine. And other than that, oh here I've just got a cleaning rag for the lenses. And in this little back compartment here I have my Pelican SD card case. Most of them are out already. I'm, I've already backed up but I put them reverse like that when they're used so I know what's used and what's not the 32 gig extreme pros I love those cards never had a problem always reliable super fast just make sure they're extreme pros not the normal extremes and um, the, the write speeds vary a lot these ones however are the expensive UHS 2 Lexar cards and I hate them they always have given me faults every time I use them pretty much don't know if I'm just unlucky but they have given me problems and I won't use them unless I've you know run out of space so I have like six or eight of the 64 gig extreme pro cards uh, same story with these ones these UHS 2s just 32 gig but they've also given me problems so I just I don't buy Lexar cards anymore but I just have them for backup for when I need it oh one more pocket so in here I just have my cables so these cables are for the recorder to go into the audio system so I just have an RCA one to quarter inch and I have a uh, 
a quarter to quarter inch one as well depending on what system the uh, the venue has but that is everything I need to do photo and a little highlight film at weddings and it all fits in this little bag plus what I'm holding right now so yeah pretty simple really I don't really like when I first started the YouTube channel I didn't want to focus real heavily on gear like I said but people want to see what I'm using so I'll post it so let me know what you guys want to see next uh, I'm going to do that video with the photo and video thing and some tips on that soon it's getting super quiet through winter now so I'm going to really jump into doing a lot more YouTube videos and I have some more workshops in the planning if people want to learn stuff in person and really learn how I do things. But otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a couple of days, I'm sure.